Oh, what's up guys so today we're going to continue our series and we're going to add the turning place when we are crouching and um we are also going to fix uh, a few glitches that are still happening okay so let's begin the first things we need is to import the animations so let's go to characters mannequins animations many an arm turn and over here we're going to grab the animations that are on the description so the crouch turn left and the crouch turn right 90 okay drag them in select the skeleton and import all now right click asset actions bulk edit and go down to root motion and force root lock and check it okay so file save all and you can close this so um now the only thing we need to do is uh, add these animations to the animation blueprint. So let's go to characters, mannequins, animations, many. And uh, on the animation graph, uh, in the previous video, we added the turn left and turn right for the normal locomotion state. Now we're going to add it to the crouch. Okay. So over here, we're going to search for turn, the turn animations. We're going to grab the turn left okay and say turn left and the crouch turn right and call it turn right okay like this now we're going to make the transitions from idle to turn left and from turn left to idle and from idle to turn right and turn right to idle okay now um the conditions here will be exactly the same as we did in the previous video. So we can go back to the animation graph and on the locomotion state, we can copy them. So the transition from idle to turn left, we can open this up and copy everything. Now we can go back to the animation graph, uh, to the crouch state machine and from the idle to turn left, we can open it and paste this over here. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, all the other ones. So um, now let's go to animation graph, locomotion from turn left to idle. We're going to copy all of this, not this thing over here. Okay. So copy it, go back to the crouch from turn left to idle, paste this here, connect this here. And right here, we're going to say get time uh remaining uh sorry uh remaining time so this one for the crouch turn left okay and connect it right here and that's it so now we're going to go back to the animation graph to the locomotion states we're going to copy from idle to turn right so this one we can copy all of this Go to the animation graph, to the crouch, from idle to turn right. Paste this, connect this here, and that's it. And now um, we can go back to the locomotion. And from turn right to idle, we can copy all of this, not this thing. Copy, go back to the crouch, and from turn right to idle, you can paste this, connect this here. And here we're going to say time remaining for the crouch <coughs> turn right. Sorry. Um, that's it. So we can connect this here. And that's basically it. So now we should be able to uh, use the turn in place animations when we aim. Okay. As you can see. Um, now the reason why we are not turning is because we need to add the animation curves to the animations so over here we're going to open the turn left <clears throat> let's go to curves add metadata curve and select the east turning that we created in the previous video okay we can save this and do the same thing on the turn right over here add metadata and select the east turning okay just like this um, now if we hit play and aim and crouch sorry we should be able to use the animations okay 
so if we grab the weapon we should be able to uh use the turning place animations now um the next things we're going to do is basically fix the glitches when we are uh doing this kind of uh inverse rotations right so uh for one way it works but if we go there and go back it kind of glitches right so we're going to fix that um we're going to go to the turning place function that we created in the previous video and right here uh, we can uh, move this a little bit like this okay and we can actually comment this and say uh, calculate curve rotation to rotate the character okay like this so i know this is really small but that's basically it so we're gonna grab this like this and expand this a little bit so over here uh where we uh lock the body right we're just going to interpolate this uh result so that we have a smooth rotation okay so to do that um we're going to uh, basically use the same uh, interpolation that we did over here. So this thing here. So over here we can say f interp2 like this. Okay. Now the target we're going to connect over here. And we can move this over here. Now um, the current value will actually be um, the previous root yaw offset. So we have to save that. So over here, we can move this here. Uh, we can grab the root yaw offset from here, say get, and promote this into a variable and call it last root yaw offset. Okay. We can move this into the turning place over here. Uh, connect this over here. Like this. And um, the current value, again, is going to be the last root yaw offset. So we can connect it over here. The delta time will be the delta time that we saved before. And the interpolation speed, in this case, will be 2. Okay. Now, over here, we're going to say select. We're going to uh, connect this return value over here to the result. So the result of this select will be uh, our root yaw offset, okay? And what we're going to check, basically, is uh, if uh, this curve value from the is turning is uh, greater than zero. So we can copy this, okay? We can uh, paste this here, and we can connect this to the index over here, <coughs> like this. So, um, if this is true, so if we are uh, playing the turning animation, we are going to return the interpolated values, okay? And uh, if not, we're going to return the original values from here, okay? And that's basically it. So, with this, um, we should be able to fix that glitch. So, let's see. Okay, so as you can see, if we uh, invert, then the legs will invert in the other direction like this, okay? So the turning place is still working, as you can see. But if we counter-rotate the direction, it will just adjust the rotation smoothly, okay? That's basically it. Now, um, the last thing we're going to do here on the animation blueprint is basically um, apply some smooth rotation to the character so that we can uh, smooth all of these rotations and the transitions between aiming and uh, not aiming. So um, we can uh, close all of these tabs, um, go here to the event graph. We can create a new function called smooth rotation. Now over here, um, we're basically going to interpolate the rotation values so that we can have a smooth rotation on the character, okay? So the first thing we're going to say here is branch. 
So we're going to check first if we are aiming. So we can grab our aiming variable and connect right here to the condition. So um, if we are uh, aiming, we basically want to uh, interpolate our rotation always to the max rotation that we have, um, depending uh, on the current rotation. So over here, we can um, go to references, grab the movement component, get, we can say get rotation rate. So this one. From here, we can say split structure to get uh, all the values. And now, uh, basically, we're just going to check if this yaw equals 2000, which is our max uh, rotation rate that we set on the character before, right? And from here, we're going to say branch. We can connect this to the true and organize this over here. So um, if we are, we're just going to grab the movement component and say set rotation rate. And we're going to set the value of the character rotation. Okay. And basically, we're just going to fix that value to 2000 so that it doesn't float, basically. Um, now we can uh, actually copy this over here because we also want to set the rotation over here. Uh, but here we're going to <clears throat> split the structure because we're going to interpolate this value smoothly. Okay, so here again we're going to say f interp2. We can connect this to the z over there. We can get our delta time and connect over there. And uh, the yaw from our current rotation will be the current value. Okay, and we are going to interpolate that to again uh 2000 okay now the interpolation speed we're going to set it to six and that's basically it on this side right here okay now uh if we are not aiming we are also going to interpolate the character rotation based on uh if the character is aiming if it is moving uh, and all of that basically so um the first thing we can say here is select and we can copy this one. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to check is if we are aiming. So we can connect the aiming variable right here. And the second thing is if we are moving. So we can go to essential movement data, should move, and connect it right here. Okay. Now, uh, the return value of the first select will be the true value of the second one. Okay. So um, uh, if this is uh, basically true, if we are moving okay then we are going to use these values over here so here again we're going to say f interp2 we're going to grab this set rotation thing again we're going to connect it over here we're going to organize this like this okay connect this to the z and uh, grab the uh, delta time. And now uh, the target of our interpolation will be the result of this select. And we can connect this back over here so that it recognizes uh, the type. Okay. So uh, now if we are aiming, uh, we're going to set our rotation rate to 2000. Okay. Like this. And if we are not, we're going to set it to something like 500. I know that people want to rotate a little bit faster. So uh, that's basically it. Um, and here, if we should not move, we are just setting it to zero. Okay. So that it basically fixes the foot sliding when we jump and then we try to rotate fast and stuff. Um, but that's basically it. Now, <clears throat> all the things we need now is to set this interpolation speed. We're going to set this to 25 and that should be uh, it for now. So we can compile and save. We can go back to the event graph and over here, we can move this a little bit. We can copy this box and paste it over here and call it smooth 
rotation like this now uh, we're going to grab the new function that we created the smooth rotation function and call it right here so um, now we can uh, control click to move this over here and we can connect this back over here okay just like this so um, that's basically it now if we close all of this and hit play you will see that the character will have this smooth rotation when it is uh, walking or running uh, as you can see it will always uh, make this smooth uh, transitions and if you try the turning place you will see um, that we have this uh, nice uh, rotation without glitches as you can see uh, and we can also um, improve uh, the speed of our turning place so if we go back to the animation blueprint and we're going to go to the animation graph to the um, locomotion uh, so all of the animations basically so on the turn left we can go here and we can go to play rate click right here and say expose as pin now we're going to promote this into a variable and call it turn speed okay we can click this go down here uh, sorry compile first go down here and set this um to 1.3 okay something like this um now we're going to do that uh on all of the others so the turn right over here we're going to go to play rates expose as pin and connect the turn speed over there like this now we're going to do the same thing for the crouching so let's go over here to the turn left we're going to go to play rates expose as spin and we can connect the turn speed over here and the turn right do the same thing play rates expose and connect the turn speed okay so that's basically it now our turning place should be a little bit faster and uh, we should be turning way smoother as you can see it seems um, like it's way better now so um, that's it guys uh, I hope you liked it I hope you learned something with it and don't forget to subscribe